Yeah, but this is the thing that, um, like, I, I feel, like, I don't understand and I don't like what, how martial artists don't try and grasp this because, man, it appears everywhere. And um, this isn't my original work, so I'm, I'm not trying to say that it is. Anyone who seeks the truth finds this, but uh, I'm, I haven't seen it in a graph before. If I have, then, you know, I, I apologize to whoever um, did it. But if I, if I have a graph, you know, if I have my y-axis and my x-axis and along my y-axis, I put the term emotion. And along my x-axis, I put the term technique. Now, what I'm actually referring to here is emotion refers to anything negative, so any negative emotion. So it can be something like fear. Fear is a huge one. It could be you know, anxiety, anxiousness, distress, uh, stress, all of those kinds of things, even anger to some extent. They all fit under this category of emotion. Now, down here I have technique, and um, technique, what I'm basically referring to is complex techniques or techniques which require thought or multiple steps or whatever the case may be. So if we look at this and I graph this, these are my findings and these are not pinpoint statistics or whatever, they're just some of the things I've found being at this game a long time and, and I think this is pretty vital. But the more emotion that's involved, so the further away you move along that axis, the higher the value. So the more emotion that's involved, the less technique you're able to apply. Okay, so as you move along this continuum or this line, um, it shows the, the inverse relationship between emotion and technique in that if emotion increases, the ability to perform techniques decreases or complex techniques. It's, it's, it's pretty clear cut. You see it in CCTV footage, you see it in training, you see it anywhere. So for that reason, and this is, you know, people deny this. Like um, they just sit there and they, they teach this really complicated stuff. And all you gotta do is throw in a bit of emotion and a bit of fear, make them a little bit scared, and then it changes everything. So, this is also variable from person to person and circumstance to circumstance. So, you know, if you have a guy that's um, in fights constantly, been in a lot of fights, you know, what may trigger, you know, this much emotion for them, um, you, you might get someone who's never been in a fight before in the same circumstance, could trigger a lot more emotion for, for a less experienced person and so forth. So that's one thing that can also affect it. The other thing is particular circumstance. If I relate this to my life, um, you know, once I had a fight with a guy I was six foot six, um, emotion was, you know, running a little bit higher in that time because of self-preservation fear. Another time I fought a guy who was, had nothing, you know, like nothing intimidating, nothing athletic about him. Same circumstances, but the thing was, there was much less emotion because there was no, no fear from my behalf. I wasn't anxious, I wasn't nervous about it. So it varies basically for that. The other thing that impacts this is spontaneity. So if something or the circumstance just springs upon you, um, you know, I'm walking to my car, then bam, all of a sudden there's three guys there. Um, you know, bang, it's, it's an influx of emotion and all those things that are going on, all those biomechanical processes inside me. So that makes it less likely to perform a technique. However, if I had time to prepare, you know, I knew what was coming, I had time to set up a strategy and you know, as I'm walking in the distance, I could see three guys and I think, oh, you know, this one's over here, this one's here, I could do this, that, and the other. That preparation brings it down a little bit. Um, I'm not sure why martial artists deny this, that they deny it. Um, you know, you even look at fights between, uh, like at a press conference for an MMA or a boxing match, and um, when there's emotion, what they actually do doesn't look like what they'll do in the ring or the cage or whatever. It changes, and um, you know, we need to grasp this. I think this is really, really important.